Hello, Barbados. All right, so it's about 5.30 p.m. on Friday here in Jerusalem. This is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This is the holiest site in Christianity, and we're obviously in the old city here in Jerusalem. And uh, this is a really kind of special time to be here because everything's shutting down for Shabbat. It's very quiet. It's very peaceful, which there were some concerns, actually, uh, because this is the first Friday of Ramadan, that it was not going to be peaceful. Uh, but fortunately it is and I thought we would do a video uh, of me walking from the holiest site in Christianity uh, to the holiest site in Judaism which actually is the Temple Mount which fortunately Jews aren't allowed to pray on uh, so commonly the Western Wall uh, is now known as the holiest site in Jerusalem or in Judaism also in Jerusalem and I thought we'll just take a little walk and uh, you know they've got the old stones here Connor you want to show the old stuff old stones Connor's walking backwards on old stones so I'll try to not knock them over and I thought I would just show you sort of not only not only the incredible architecture and just all sorts of people that you will see here whether you see Christians or Muslims or Druze or Jews but all in coexistence Again, it's a little quiet now. Normally, this is the time of day where it's quiet. Normally, it's hustling and bustling. I think we're going this way. Um, but just to see how these people live on top of each other, largely in peace, fortunately, and, uh, and really how close these holy sites are to each other and how connected they are to each other. It's, it's really rather extraordinary. Um, I probably won't talk the entire time so you can take in some of the sites for yourself, but I, I will say uh, this is our fifth or sixth day in Israel, um, it's been a truly moving experience. Um, you know, this, is, this is a country that's in deep, deep mourning, uh, but also at war. And there's also, you know, there's a hundred and I think 134 hostages still uh, in Gaza. You know, we went down to the sites of uh, some of the kibbutzim that were attacked and the Nova Festival. We met with survivors. We met family members of people that are that are hostages right now it's unfathomable what's what's going on here um if i'm not mistaken the the muslim quarter that way i think we're going which way we're going this way i think yeah yeah no, we're going with the local. Uh, and yeah you will see jews that are going to to celebrate Shabbat, and you'll see Muslims right everywhere. And, um, you know, this is the part of the Middle East and the part of Israel, particularly, that people just don't understand. That this is the only place in the Middle East that has anything close to coexistence. There is no other country in the Middle East that has Jews and Christians and Muslims walking around doing commerce together. It's the only place with anything even remotely close to that. Um, but anyway, this, this has been a, a very moving five days, to say the least. We, we still have a few more days. Um, and hold on, it's getting a little slippery over here. One sec. I think my main, my main takeaway so far actually has been, okay, uh, really has been the, the resilience of the Israeli people. I mean, they're, they're at war, they're mourning. Literally everyone in this country knows someone who was killed or who is hostage or some version of that from that day. Um, and the country is still going on. It's, it's incredible. I, I was out at a club last night till about 4 a.m. Uh, and people were, I, I couldn't take it anymore, but people were still out after that. Um, so it really is incredible to watch sort of life go on after like the most unimaginable acts that could possibly be perpetrated by human beings. Um, so again, the whole idea here is just to show you how close these things are. Uh, interestingly, when uh, when Jordan controlled Jerusalem between 1948 and 1967, uh, the Western Wall was closed to Jews, the church was not available to Christians, um, and it was only in 1967 when Israel got control of the city that they opened it up for everyone. So, 
Jews can pray, and Muslims can pray, and Christians can all pray at their sites. It simply was not the case before that. And I think that's an important thing for people to understand. Still going this way? Okay. Um, it's also interesting because you're seeing it, as I said, this is it's pretty empty right now, although I think when we get to the wall, there'll be a lot of people there because it's before Shabbat. Uh, but last time we were here in May, you know, if you're just out here on a Tuesday afternoon, there are thousands and thousands of people. You know, all, you know, all the shops are closed right now, basically. Um, but right now, this is this is really as quiet and, and peaceful as it gets. Here, I'll I'll be quiet for about thirty seconds. Let me just uh, get a view of the streets, and everything. Guys. You know, one of the one of the really incredible things uh, about Jerusalem in general, this is the old city, so um, the architecture obviously is is fairly ancient. They they recreated a lot of it and restored a lot of it, uh, but you can see parts like this that are obviously much much older. And then you can see the newer Jerusalem stuff here. The entire, every, there's a code in the city that, <clears throat> that every building must be built with Jerusalem stone. Um, but yeah, you can see Muslim women walking down the street and there were little Jewish kids just running, running by. And again, you just don't see that anywhere else in the Middle East. So for whatever the flaws are with this country, it's the only place where there's anything remotely like a whole existence. There's no apartheid here or anything else. Um, it's mostly a load of nonsense. I mean, look, Israeli soldiers right behind us, and then there are, there are Muslim women right behind me right now. They're going to walk by right now. It's okay. And the kid running. He's pretty fast. And another guy. And you really just need to understand. I'll stop repeating myself, but this isn't what happens in Jordan. This is There's no Jews in Jordan. This isn't what happens in Egypt. I think there's one Jew left. Uh, there are... There are no, virtually no Christians left in Egypt. Uh, Lebanon, which was a largely Christian country, you know, 80 years ago, is now 35% Christian. The Christians are fleeing. Um, and we're about to get to the plaza of the Western Wall right over here. America. Oh, sorry. sorry, we had to go through security, uh, but okay, here we are. We're basically at the Western Wall Plaza. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Everyone wants to be a star, you know. All right, so this is it. This is this is basically the most prime real estate in the entire world for the history of the world. And this is it right here. So, so this is the Western Wall, which now is thought of, as I said, as the holiest site in Judaism. The holiest site in Judaism actually is the Temple Mount, which is right above it. Jews are not allowed to pray there um, because they built the Al-Aqsa Mosque up there. Um, it was the site of the ancient Jewish temple, so obviously in that this is the retaining wall of the temple you can guess which one was here first yeah it was, it was the temple so anyway this has now become what's 
thought of as the holiest site in Judaism. Um, the Al-Aqsa Mosque is, that, that's part of the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Dome of the Rock, which maybe we can see from the site. A slightly different angle um, is over there. Um, this kind of rickety bridge here does get you up there. I don't think they let people up there right now. They certainly, when I was here in 1997, I went up for a few minutes. It was fairly obvious that outsiders were not walking. Uh, but about 100,000 Muslims prayed there today. And fortunately, it was not violent. It usually does get violent on Ramadan. Um, Alright, so that, that was the walk from uh, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, Holiest Site in Christianity, the Western Wall, commonly the Holiest Site in Judaism, Al-Aqsa Mosque, which, uh, the Dome of the Rock, which is the third Holiest Site in Islam, uh, and, it, and it's peaceful, and it's decent, and that's because the Israelis control it, so... Uh, Alright, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go pray.